The wreck of the Yongada off the Queensland coast has become a legendary place to dive and explore. Well, our divers and explorers are the two teams. Well, here we are in the hills just outside of Townsville where we're going to continue our journey through the vast tropical wilderness of North Queensland. From here, we'll make our way down to the coast where we'll dive deep under the ocean to experience the SS Yongala, probably one of the world's most exquisite wreck dives. But before that, we've got a bit of exploring to do up here. Located approximately 100 kilometres north of Townsville, the Paluma Range forms the southern end of the wet tropics World Heritage Area a 450 kilometre stretch of wilderness that has been recognised as the oldest continually surviving rainforest on Earth. So we're about um, 900 metres above sea level on the Paluma Range National Park. We're about 13 kilometres from the coast at this stage uh, and by the time we finish this afternoon we're going to be about 33 kilometres from the, from the actual coast. Uh, so we're going to go through everything from mangroves uh, all the way into dry iron bark country, so um, with an annual rainfall variance of almost three metres in between. So this is basically where the wet tropic starts and goes all the way up to the Daintree, so some of the oldest living rainforest in the world today. Tim, we've just arrived at Running River, so this is the little bridge that crosses that in Hidden Valley, and um, it's about quarter past five, so hopefully we're going to get to see some um, monotrams in action, which are the, uh, the platypus that we have here. Oh, we've got one over there, Tim. And what we'll see is them coming along, um, foraging along the bottom for little dragonfly larvae and freshwater shrimp, uh, and then hopefully we'll see them surface, chewing, so lots of ripples coming out from them, uh, and then that quite repetitively through until about one o'clock in the morning is when they're most active. Well, this morning we woke up deep in the wilderness of the Paluma Ranges. However, now we're cruising along Alba Beach in the Burdekin region just south of Townsville. But the real reason why we came down here is to get out there to experience something truly mind-blowing that lies in these waters. On the 23rd of March 1911, a cyclone hit North Queensland, wreaking havoc and disaster. One of the biggest tragedies of this event was the sinking of the SS Yongala and the loss of all 122 crew and passengers on board. The wreck of the SS Yongala lay undiscovered for nearly 50 years in these waters right here below me before being identified in 1958. Over time, a wide variety of corals grew in and around the wreck, attracting its own unique and diverse ecosystem. At 109 metres long, it is Australia's largest intact historic shipwreck and is commonly regarded as one of the best wreck dives in the entire world. So let's go check it out. Over the years, different parts of the reef have drifted over, landed on the Yongala itself. It's, it's been said to be one of the most diverse artificial reefs because uh, parts of the reef have drifted from all over, landed on onto the rack and started growing. So because it's isolated where it is, 40 minutes from the, from the reef and about 30 minutes from land, there's nothing else in the area. So a lot of the big fish come and just hang out. So there's a, a big food chain on the rack itself um, because there's nothing around. It's on the ocean, on the floor bed and um, just in sand. It has most of the natural reef that's drifted onto it and has been growing on the rack, making it really colourful and having a lot of diversity on it. While the sheer amount of fish that can be found on the Yongala is nothing short of mind-blowing, our biggest surprise came when we ventured under the bow of the wreck and came face to face with this, one of the biggest fish we've ever witnessed a 300-pound Queensland groper called VW, and there's no prizes for guessing how this monster got its name. 
Another common sight on the wreck is the huge amount of sea snakes that cruise in and out of the vessel, surfacing every now and then to breathe. Olive sea snakes, a few banded sea snakes, which are pretty cool because they like to just cruise past you. They're most, supposed to be one of the most dangerous creatures in the ocean, but they're pretty friendly. They'll just cruise past you looking for some lunch and uh, not take any notice of you. Turtles are also a common sight, and we were lucky enough to catch this beautiful hawksbill during his tasty lunch of soft coral. We get to see a lot of turtles out there, and um, their favourite food being either the jellyfish or the soft corals. The wreck itself is, is pretty intact and um, hasn't broken up too much over the years, probably because of all the coral growing on it. But so you can still see a lot of, some of the, the, the big masts and things have, have broken away, but you've still got a, the mast at the bow and the stern, which are covered in coral and you're able to actually swim underneath. The, the holds, although you're not allowed inside the wreck, you can actually swim up to and look inside the holds. So a lot of that, because parts of the deck have broken away, you can actually see inside. There's um, the first class dining room, where they used to have the smoking room, and um, also part of the galley. You can actually see a part of the stove in there with the, the little hobs. That's still inside at the bottom. There's just so much stuff down there that sometimes your head's on a bit of a swivel stick as you, as you can cruise around. So there's always something going on is, is the main thing with the young galley. You're always gonna see something good down there. Most people say that um, you'll see more fish in one dive on the rack than you'll actually see in 10 dives on the reef, and I think that's pretty true. For any keen diver, an experience on the SS Yongala can truly be life-changing. While it is ranked in the top 10 wreck dives in the entire world, as you leave the wreck far behind and head towards the surface, you'll question whether there could possibly be any better. Travel